Welcome back to Kenosha Community Media, and we got a great guest for us today, and that's Lisa Wolf, the media coordinator for the City of Columbus. And uh, Lisa, thank you so much for joining us today. Absolutely, Jason. Thanks for having me. How did? Let's get a background with you. How did you get started into community public access, community media, the whole? Where did it all start? The whole works, huh? Well, so. Um, I got my start in community media around about 2010 um, when I actually uh, worked for the cable company and in their advertising division and I got downsized. So I spent a little while uh, reevaluating what I wanted to do and I had a, a really good friend of mine at the time encourage me to join her at work. Um, in the city of Fitchburg, working for Fact TV. So I started there. I absolutely loved it. I got the hang of what community access was all about, and I've been doing it ever since. Um, so for, I worked there for a while. I uh, moved on to Sun Prairie Media Center for a little bit, um, helped them open their low power FM station, uh, which is 103.5 The Sun. And that was a blast. Uh, managed, I managed a lot of volunteer DJs, and we had a really good time doing that. And now I work for the city of Columbus and the media coordinator here. So let's talk about then uh, the city of Columbus. What do you have to offer there? Well, what we do here is, well, first of all, let me back up. Columbus is about 5,000 people, We're very mm. small. It's a very cute, historic little city. Um, and so our access center is small. I mean, you can see in back of me, there's my, there's all my equipment back there or some of it, you know? Um, so just a, a little operation here, but a great little operation. We cover city council meetings. Um, that's really popular with our community. Uh, people like to know what's going on here. We serve a lot of the local churches. They submit their programming every week, really regularly. Again, um, helping people connect with their their religious family, especially in the midst of the pandemic. Why is public access to community television important in the community? Oh my gosh, so many reasons. Uh, you know, transparency of government is one that we always say, right? It's important everywhere you go in every public access center. Um, here, Especially, I think it's important because we are experiencing a local news like shortage. We like our local paper here just quit printing their printed edition um, maybe a year ago. So, really, it's important for access centers to be able to fill in those gaps and have community members have their voices heard um, and and keep them informed as to what is going on. Uh, those are the things I think are, are really important for community access to do, and I think that's why we are so amazing. Now let's talk about Wisconsin community media, and the reason we're doing this, we're not just one access center, there's many access centers on the state. But for those who don't know about Wisconsin community media, what is it? Oh, Wisconsin community media. It's, uh, so we're a statewide organization of community access centers. Our tendency is to build each other up. We, we just build each other up, keep each other going. We work on legislation to make sure that community access can still exist uh, because it has been so hard in Wisconsin, um, just was sort of with act after act, um, cutting down our funding. We want to make sure that our voices are heard and we're still able to provide the services that we provide for the public. So we do those types of things. Um, and lots of inspiring people that are, are members of, of this group. Um, we meet every year a couple of times. We have a great conference uh, that's usually in the spring, this year it's in the fall, uh, where we learn. We learn from each other and um, just have a good time together, of course, as well. So that's WCM in a nutshell. So again, breaking news that you mentioned is that you went, uh, you've been in uh, Sun Pr Fitchburg, Sun Prairie, Columbus, and I hear you're going to another uh, center. Let's hear. I 
I am. Um, I'm about to take another step in my career. I am about to start with the city of Watertown uh, as their media and communications director. And that's going to be really exciting. Again, another great uh, community media center that I'll be taking part in and managing. And also with a little bit of social media for the city and those types of duties thrown in as well. All right, congratulations on that. Um, for the city of Columbus, uh, the programming that's on the channels, are they also streamed at all? Or can we see things online uh, to, to view uh, the content that uh, city of Columbus puts out? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we are online right now. If you go to the city website for city of Columbus, Wisconsin, we're actually right under the videos link. You just click that link and most of our content is available live streaming and for um, viewing later on. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of content that is there for the public to view. Uh, just We put almost everything that we do online just to make it you know more easily accessible for everyone. Then we have um, a Facebook page for the city. And we also have our very own Facebook page for Columbus Cable. Lisa, it has been a pleasure talking with you today. You do excellent work uh, across the board and we thank you for your support and participation in Wisconsin Community Media. And thank you so much for time with us today. Thanks, Jason. Thanks for all you do too.